Hello and good afternoon. And um, I am uh, welcoming everyone for INTD Kaffir Interiors uh, 2. And this is a brief tutorial on how to download SketchUp and use SketchUp for free through their website. My name is Professor Tanya Shanklin, and I'm going to quickly do a, a quick screen share. And we're going to go into SketchUp. And here is where you would need to be for the SketchUp page. And first and foremost, you should be able to type this online. So it should be http sketchup dot com and this is the current new page um, the previous icon has changed to this and so we'll just go through this quickly and also through the presentation so i will go back and share another screen So here are the basics in using the free software. Um, SketchUp is also a 3D model uh, program and software that has been in existence since uh, uh, 2000. And unlike the building information software of Revit, SketchUp is um, very, uh, the type of uh, software that you would have to extrude solids and forms and then you're able to uh, attach materials. And you can also do a walkthrough with SketchUp. So just for the basics, we'll just go through this. Now in your web browser, as I showed on the screen, type HTTP www.sketchup.com. Go to the select plans and pricing. Then when you are in the panel for free, download the copy to your laptop or your personal computer. So you should see the one, and this will be on the cloud. And I will have another discussion about how you can also use the perpetual, which is about, I would say $55 for the year. Use the web-based free version and select products. So you would go into products, so you'll see that. And we'll also see that on their new website. Select the SketchUp for free here, where you see that arrow. Then you will see this, pa this panel on the screen to start modeling. And once you see that blue tab, you can actually start modeling. Then select that you agree with the disclaimer and privacy policy for SketchUp. Now, when you're in the drawing, this was the old um, logo for SketchUp. You're gonna see a new logo that's gonna be a blue looking icon. Then collect or select create new when this will open to the SketchUp screen. Look here if you are already have the SketchUp file which can bring in by my computer or Trimble Connect. So you will see this here and um, this will also connect to Trimble. And this where you will see my connect and that's where you would connect with your computer. Now you're in the SketchUp screen. And then at the left side of the screen, you'll see a panel and this panel where you see the pencil is your draw pencil. This is the one that you're gonna draw with. And I will talk a little further about SketchUp and also the coordinates. For those who have taken AutoCAD before, uh, AutoCAD is points and lines and dots. So for it follows the Cartesian coordinate system and this would mean X, Y coordinate system. So the X, um, line would be the red line, the Y line is the green. And when you're doing 3D modeling or, or creating 3D modeling, 
this blue line will be the Z line. When you start on the plane, you will be in the two dimensional drawing. You draw out your triangle for this exercise. Then you will end this triangle that is shaded in. And then you would go to the icon, which you see in this arrow here to push pull. This is the push pull and you will also see a selection of different flyouts. So using the push pull will actually pull up your solid. So using the push pull tool, we'll go to the rectangle and pull up the solid model. As it's shown here, um, spe uh, not specifying by size or height, you have the rectangle and this is where your solid form becomes. And at the end, and then end to finish, then go to the draw command or the pencil to draw the doors and windows. Use the draw pencil to create your door, then finish the header of the door. Then when you have the door on your house, then select the push pull tool. And you'll see this here. And you have the same push pull tool as the one that you use. Then use the push pull tool to show the door depth by pushing inward. Then go back again and select the draw command, and that's the pencil. Use the draw tool when the, in the flyout when drawing the window. So we're going to be using the draw tool a lot. And so you're going to see an active, um, an active presentation of this. Here, start drawing the windows on this home. So first draw the window on the left and then draw the window on the right. And then finish with the two doors and windows. Then use the push pull tool to push inward for the left window. Do this for the right window and then use the using the push pull tool. So the push pull tool is going to be used a lot when you are uh, working with SketchUp. Then end here and click the option arrow. Then when you're going to rotate by the house using the rotate command which is shown here at the flyout, then rotate the house at the right side and I will show that live. When we, are, when we start on the draw the floor uh, windows on this plane, so on this side, you're gonna use the draw uh, tool again, or the draw uh, command. One thing you will notice about using SketchUp, you do not have a command line that you would see on AutoCAD. So start with your first window. Using your first draw tool, draw your first window. Then complete your first window. Then start with the next window. You can pan, use the pan hand, which is universal, and actually AutoCAD and even Revit has a pan hand to move your screen. So even SketchUp, as you see here, you have a pan hand. Then draw the second window on this plane then complete the second window. Then after you complete the windows and then start drawing on the third window. Then complete the third window. And in this plane, the third window is created as part of the exercise. So once you have completed the third window, then go back to the rotate tool, which you'll see here. And that's this tool to move the house back and forth. Now, when you're at the screen, the house will be at a perspective view. Then start drawing the first window on the left side of the house using the draw tool. Then complete the first window. Then add the second window on the left side of the house. Then add the third window on the left side of the house. So you're gonna have three windows on either side of the house. Then add the fourth window to complete the side, then start 
with the push pull tool uh, for windows to show depth. So that's where this same tool again is going to be used. Then start with the left windows shown here. Then complete all windows using the push pull tool. Now you have shown the depth for your windows. Next, you will pick materials at the right side. To select materials, go for, win go go for your windows. So you'll see this box here is your materials icon. When you select the materials icon, the flyout will show what material services you can, you can select. Here, I will select a wood finish as shown and attach it to the house. So I will show that and it will be coming as a paint bucket. So even though you have this agreement here and you can show the various finishes, then you can go to this paint bucket and then pick on the surface. When moving the house, you're able to rotate and move the house. As shown here, you've already rendered the house with the color of the wood in the materials tab. Then select the paint bucket to render all sides of the house. The, rend the render rendering the windows is shown here. So you will go to glass and you'll see glass and mirrors. And this will give different uh, surface materials that would uh, represent glass. The rendering tool is the paint bucket which you will use for coloring the house. Then move the house to render the windows with the glass noted here. So I probably would pick something like this and then you would show examples of the rendered glass shown in the house. So one is already rendered and you'll see the other, the other uh, tabs rendered. So the roof material in the materials tab, you can select roof material and you can pick something like this shown here. And then once the material of the roof is shown in the house, you go over to the house and pick the roof. Then after you render the roof, select the wood material for the door. Then render the door as shown here. So this almost mahogany looking door color will be used. You can change two front windows by using window coverings and select the type of window covering. So if you go into window coverings, you can see these examples of um, window screens. Use the same rendering paint bucket icon to render the two front windows in this example. When you have saved the window coverings for the house, then saving your 3D creation, go to save. So you'll see this file here and then click and go down to save as. In the save as, select the, the SketchUp icon to save to. Then from projects, SketchUp, then add to folder. Now add my sketchup.skp is added to your recent files. Then you can save and find the thumbnail to open the file as shown here. So when you open the home tab, you can go to open to open the file of your screen. You can make a drawing creation public by selecting the public shown here, and this will come as a block through 3D Warehouse. So I will show an example of 3D Warehouse, but it will be able to you know, be generated and used as a block. You can also have the option to make the block private, and as shown here, making SketchUp block private. So I will check this off. So 
actually we're going to go back and we're going to pick and go to the actual SketchUp web website. So I'm going to make sure I'm logged in. I'm going to go to my apps. And I'm going to make sure that I'm logged into SketchUp and Trimble. And so make sure my account is open. And I'm going to go to my products. And then I'm going to go to SketchUp Web for free. And so now we'll just wait a few minutes and see. And this is the new icon that you will see for SketchUp. And of course, like so many software programs, um, they do occasionally regenerate every year. And there you are, welcome to SketchUp. Now this is different because the original presentation showed this red icon with three levels. Now you see this blue. So it's still the same. You have SketchUp here, you have your home um, dashboard, you have your account, your Tribble, Trimble Connect, your 3D warehouse, which we'll go into later. And then you may wanna add a location, but that won't be necessary. So you can now go to the blue tab to say start modeling. And now you are in the SketchUp page. And this is similar. And then actually you would have here the same SketchUp, the new SketchUp icon that you would see here. So anything on this line, which is open for model preferences, this would go into home, new, open. You can save your file. You can insert another file you can export your file. And when you export, you can export it to um, a, uh, a PGN file, a DWG file, 3D or 2D. So there's a lot of things that you can do with SketchUp. You can also download and you can change your app settings. So now we're gonna actually do the same exercise. We're gonna pick a line and then you pick here. And this is the drawing line that you're working off of. And then I'm just gonna draw the rectangle. And going from one endpoint Also to keep in mind, you can use this here for erase. If you made a mistake, this will erase the line thing can go back to draw. And also when you click, you can draw a curved line. So we're gonna go with just drawing straight lines. And then there you are. So now you have this box and now we're gonna go to push pull. When you go through here, push pull has various options, has an offset, has follow me. We don't have to worry about that, but we're gonna use the push pull. You'll see this where it has an arrow going up. And so when you go right to the solid, then you can push pull and bring up your model. And then when you're done, go back to select. Um, you can also create arcs. This is, for arcs, so you can create or have um, a block plane or different types of arcs that you can draw. You can also draw rectangles, circles, and then put in text or 3D text. Okay, this will icon will push a, an item back and forth. We'll talk about that later. And this is also your move icon, just like an AutoCAD. And this is your rotate icon. And we'll use rotate later. So, and this is also your measure. So when you see this little measuring tape, you're measuring from here. 
So I'm gonna go back to draw and I'm gonna draw a door. And I'm gonna draw on the face. This is just a simple exercise. Then I'm done. And then I'm also gonna draw two windows on either side. This is just to get familiar with using SketchUp. And then a draw on the face here. And draw on the face here. And let me stop. And you can always use escape and then draw here. Now, when I go back to select, then I go to push pull. And then I can push back to get the door and the windows some depth. Then I go back to select. And now I will go to where you see the move. I would use the rotate. You can always undo the command that you need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to stop. Or another way to do this is use your pan hand. And here's your other rotate. So you can actually use this key to rotate and move your model. And then go back and use this for your pan hand and move the solid model. Then go back to here and then draw out your windows. If it doesn't look right or if it looks oblong, you can always use the erase tool and it will eliminate the lines and then start over again. So I'll make this a little more easier and then use my pan hand and bring it out this way. Okay, and then I will draw another window using the same draw pencil. And then I'm going to draw maybe one or two more windows. Now this is just to get familiar with using SketchUp. In the exercise, there's actually three windows, so I'm going to make this one a little oblong, a little longer. 
than the original. And then here, you should push pull tool. And then show some depth of the window. Now keep in mind, this is just an exercise. I use my pan hand and we go back to rotate, you know, from the fly out, turn it the other way. And turn it this way. This is not exactly the house, but we're gonna use this exercise so you get familiar with drawing using SketchUp. And I'm gonna do the same thing. And I'm gonna pick a line of the next window. And I'm going to create the other oblong window. Again, this is just an exercise for everybody to get familiar with how to use SketchUp. Okay. Now I would click here and then go to push pull. And then use the push pull. Okay, then you would go back to select, then you would go back down and do a rotate and rotate your house. Now, eventually I will show a roof, but for the sake of the exercise, I just want everyone to get familiar with drawing. And a couple of things, we'll just go to materials. This is where you find your materials. And you would look in your materials browser. Go to wood. And then I'm going to pick my wood finish. And as a paint bucket, it automatically changes it. So what I'm going to do now I'm gonna go back and rotate my house on this side. And then rotate and then use your hand, your pan hand this way. And then I'm going to add color here, go back here, and then rotate back around. Okay. Now, I've gotten so far here. Um, I'm gonna go to glass and mirrors. So even for example, let me just do a brush here. When I'm putting in the mirrors, I use this, the paint bucket. To shade your mirrors. And then go to the other side. And then move your hand. 
and then again, shading your windows. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to rotate around. And I'm going to go to window coverings. And just like what I showed in the exercise, I'm going to pull a type of window covering and use that for the house. Then I'm going to go back to wood. And pick this color for the door. Now, once I put down this, and I can go back. Now, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to create a roof, but it's not going to be a flat roof. It's going to be a peaked roof. What I can do, and maybe what I can also come up with, I'm going to push my house this way. And move my pan hand down this way. And just move it back a little bit. It's a little oblong, so we won't worry about that. But I'm going to use my pencil. I'm going to create gables. And then use my push pull tool. So let me undo a couple of things. Go back to push pull. This is one way of showing this. Or let's see if we can undo. You can always undo where you think you've had a little issues with. And sometimes not everything looks what it seems. So I go and erase this. And then let's try another way. Let's see if we can create a roof and use the push pull tool. So there's a variety of ways of uh, creating a roof. And um, sometimes you would have to uh, sketch around. Um, sometimes you can do it this way. Or better yet, let's escape. And then I'm just going to rotate around.
So if, um, if you're trying to share something peaked, um, the challenge is whether you want to pull push pull or you want to draw the whole loop out. So we'll come back to that, but what I'll do is I will put moving material. And where I will find roofing material, we'll be a little more in depth as we go along, but. This is near completion. And this is just an example of how you can use SketchUp. And there's a couple of other things that you can learn too. Um, we'll go out of materials and we'll go into 3D warehouse. And you can type in trees. And you come up with any type of tree. So if I want to put an oak tree, I can bring an oak tree. Or I can download it. So I'm actually going to import it. And my model is coming. These are models of trees that artists have created. So we'll try that again. There's a tree. Now, actually it's right here. So now what we can do we go to select. Select the tree. You can also use the push pull tool. If you wanted to give some height to the trees. Or better yet, we'll stop here at select and we'll go back. We have one little tree. So let's go to make it out of the rotate, go to select, and then go to redo warehouse and type trees again. We'll find a different tree this time. We use this one, which is a scatter tree. So we can just download and keep in mind, you can also save these. So you can say you can like this and then add to your folder for trees.
and create the folder and then add the tree to the folder. So you can always pick up and you can always look for your trees that way. So I'll go back and I'll bring up the same thing again. I'm going to wait until the tree is here, and we're going to put the tree here. Well, not here, but we're going to try this, bring it closer off someplace. Any action that you make from SketchUp, you can always undo. And sometimes when you're just experimenting, you may make one or two mistakes, but it's all part of trying to learn how to use the program. So we'll just add a couple more things. I'm going to go back into the 3D warehouse. And we're going to type wishes. So anything that you find in the uh, in the three D warehouse, it could be anything. You. You know, you can you can type it in. Let's see, let's try plants. And, and there we are. We have all sorts of plants. But what I'm looking for. Let's try another word, shrubbery. Or shrubs. There we go. And now we can find different types of shrubs. So let's say if we wanted this type, we can always save it. And we can also create a new folder, which is, and then and put it in that folder. So now after that's done, and you just download. And there's your shrubs. Or 
kind of move them around a little bit. Um, those little arrows that you see there are ways that you can make or expand the model. Now, because the my cursor is still trying to move the model, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna pick the model. And I'm gonna use the move key. Also keep in mind you can use your pan hand. And make sure that when you use your mouse, you can scroll down. Now there's a couple of things that need to be adjusted, but I wanted to show this because you, there's so many things that you can do with SketchUp. And I use the move. So even using this program, when adjusting your screen, that's part of the uh, challenge that you would have. Now this has been colored in, and so you have shrubs here, but you can add more. And maybe what I'll do, the same one, you know, I'll just type it. And then download. And then put the, another shrub there. So you have ways of putting in foliage and you can spend a day working on this, but the main thing is being able to use the elements using the free SketchUp. Even for a person like this one, you can always change. You can always do a right click. You can switch the entity or select. You can hide it. And then you can always do an arrow to bring the person back. When it comes to copy, you can always right click. You 
You can always change the axes. You can always flip the component or zoom. You can copy it. And then you can right click and then paste. And you can bring another shrub. I'll just get it closer to the house itself. So again, same thing. If I wanted to make multiples, I can always right click copy and then paste. Use escape key. You can always move your shrub anywhere, um, but if you wanted to add more and make your place, you know, kind of like um, more inviting, you can do that. So you can pan things around a little bit um, and So for example, the tree, you can select on the tree and you can move the tree. So you can use this and then move the tree in another location. Sometimes you end up moving part of the tree like you see here. Remove the foliage of the leaves and then hit escape. And then hit escape so you can keep everything and save everything. As I said earlier, um, if you have problems with adjusting your screen. You can always hit escape to go back where you started.
So this ends the presentation. There'll be other presentations for SketchUp. And thank you for joining in.